Yep. I up you lovely lot. I up, I up. Alright, so where was I? I can't fucking remember. Uh completion this. Oh, nearly a tenth of the way through the game. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking over hundred episodes of this, I think. Uh got a measurement, six hundred mission, money. Oh no, that's no, no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what am I doing there, then? What's up there? So we uh, let's have a word with my man. Let's see what he's got to say for himself, Mr. Smith. Huh? Hey ho! We ran out of eggs again. He was supposed to be out shopping. <gasps> uh, ooh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, weapons customer stopped me to complain. And I guess I got distracted. Foot. Uh, you guys seem busy. Want me to come back later? Yeah. Oh, Majima san. How are you, Rich? Sorry I had to see that. <laughs> Hello, Majima san. Anyway, back to eggs, Fehu. Best prices at the market next town over. Oh, you're relentless. Alright, I'll be back with them soon. <gasps> Oh, while you're there, you can look for equipment from Majima Sent too. Yeah. What? I've never done agent work. Uh -huh. You want Fahu to do what? Yeah. We told you about agents, like treasure hunters, but find equipment and parts. Fahu, go find good things from Majima Sent and make lots of money. <sighs> God damn it. Is this work really such good money? What do you do exactly? Yeah. Uh, this is what we do, Majima Sent. Oh, okay. Select a destination. Costs and obtainable items vary by region. Dispatch agents to locations in Japan. Expenses are lower when compared to dispatching overseas. Oh, okay. So I'll just Hercules Sporting Goods. Just click on that. Uh, Hercules Sporting Goods. Just a regular sporting goods shop. Sells baseball bats and golf clubs. Uh, obtainable talks bats. Okay, I can't really select anything, but all right. Uh, Lucky find equipment, right? Parts, right? Plastic. Oh, let's go back. Oh no, I can't do that. Okay. Um, select an agent. Fees and success rates vary by agent. Guaranteed find steel. Lucky find dagger. Equipment, right? Metal bat. Parts right, plastic iron, lead ingots. Uh, a weapon craftsman who's much happier in his workshop, but he's sometimes forced by his wife to take on a silent spot as a weapons agent. He uses a large travel bag. Okay, completing five bags, we stretch the cost, nothing, actually nothing, nothing, okay, nothing. Dispatch agents, yep. There's a lot to this game, man. Pretty cool. Okay, search request done. Next time you choose agents and destination to search, and don't forget you can pay a little extra. To <laughs> extra funds motivate agents. Get better things and also come back soon. Ah, a little tip to get them working out, do yeah, Makes sense. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Hi. Cheers, matey. I'll do my best. I'll contact you on your page when I return, so you can come and pick up what I find. Ah, sweet. Unqua. Make sure the luck. Uh, to lock the door when I'm out, so I'll be going there. You have dispatched an agent. To see how long the search will take, press the options button and highlight equipment in the pause menu. You cannot dispatch another agent until the first one returns. When enough time passes, you will receive a notification on your page to return to the dragon and tiger. That seems easy enough. Yeah, cool, okay. Let's have a word with the lady. Oh, that. Hello, he's not back yet. The agent you dispatch is dil diligently searching for equipment to see how much longer it will take. Press the options button and highlight equipment in the pause menu. If the search should be complete, but you didn't get a notification on your page, I try leaving the restaurant. Uh, equipment. Oh, it's a look at the equipment. Excuse me. Oh, gear search complete in 341. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. 
Alright then, alright, alright. Well, I might as well have a wander around outside. It's only going to be three minutes. And he's going to get a metal bat. Very nice. Oops, sorry, matey. Hey buddy, I'm a telephone car collector. Got any cards I could see? I want to just take a look, that's all. I might have some. You only want to look though. Ah. I used to collect them myself, but after I see a card for the first time, I just kind of lose all interest in it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, okay. That makes you a pretty hard collector, don't it? Why don't we just drop the hobby? Uh, I can't give it up. I can't go on living without it. Reveling in telephone car collections, I need them. So he's gonna, he's gonna teeth me. To each his own. Fine. I don't mind showing him cards. Oh. That would be incomplete sets though. Yeah. Only full three card sets really do it for me. Three card sets. You know how cards get A, B, or C on them. It's because there's three different cards for each girl. When you complete a set. Come and show me. You're a picky guy, aren't you? Oh, fine. I'll swing by and show you if I end up with a set. Alright, cool. No problem, Reg. I'll keep you in mind. Two minutes. Can't go up there for some strange reason. Uh oh, Mr. Shakedown. Nope. Oh, hang on, I did get it. Equipment. Got a secret wallet, didn't I? This raises your financial looks slightly. And when you're shaking down, you can slash one inside, reducing the amount taken. Um, I don't really need that for now. I do need the card thing, though. Oh, yeah, man, it's this place with the nice music. Hello, darling. Sorry to say. Cheers. Yeah, man, I love this little song. It's so nice. That energy up. Oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you. One sec. Oh man, this is a soothing piece of music. So nice. That's my jam right there. That's my jam. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I should have killed a bit more time. Very nice. I like it a lot. 38 seconds. Oh, sorry, love. Yeah, man. It's a well nice piece. I'm, I'm YouTubing that in a bit. Uh, I'll get started on it tomorrow. For now, I'll get home and get some sleep. Is that a quick snout, is he? Fair play, lad. Fair play. Oh, here we go. It's my pleasure. Uh, 658109, it's dragging the toilet equipment, something else to come in. Alright. And here we are. That's what I was waiting around. Hi up matey. It's cracking lad. Hi up 
12. Get our equipment search results. This is an old rundown. Oh, hang on. Okay, this is an old rundown shopping district near Sutton Bordy. I used to sneak into the store spots to switch his looks on the shoppers. Hair raising encounter, attacked by a wild beast. It's <laughs> a bit weird. Success mission went reasonably well. Okay. Reasonably well. Items of time. Dagger, recipes, metal bat, parts of time, steel and iron. Oh, I got bare iron. Uh, look out for a heck of a sorting goes, budget pack. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Here you can receive the equipment, item recipes, parts of uh, parts or assets found by your agent. The equipment is immediately ready for use. Recipes enable you to craft equipment, provided you have all the necessary parts and enough money to pay for the food. Uh, if the name of an item is not shown in the crafting menu, it means you have not yet discovered the parts or equipment required to make it. Dispatch agents to various locations to obtain many different types of parts. Once you obtain a new piece of equipment, it also becomes available for purchase in the shop. Crafting it will be cheaper than buying. Mm. Okay, equipment, recipe, parts. Not bad for you, not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not a professional agent, but next time we will call on one of our agents in our network. I will continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network to get better information on powerful equipment and acquire more resourceful agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get. Makes sense, I guess. If you got a one-of-a-kind weapon, you ain't going to want to sell it to some agent guy. Yeah. In those cases, the agents can bring back recipes with information how to create a replica. I can then recreate the item in my workshop. But you need parts for that. So get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them for free. You lucky man. You got lead ingots. Alright, thank you. You got quality iron. Thank you. You got iron gears. Thank you. You got timber. Timber! Ho! You got driftwood. Alright. Thank you. You got cursed handcuffs. What the fuck? Alright then. Got Flintstones. Yabba dabba fucking do. You can find parts at regular shops too. Look around in Shofakucho. Shof I can never say this fucking name. Shofakucho. Shofakucho. You bring parts, we make equipment. We bring money to otherwise we know it. <laughs> and craft will sell you more of any equipment you already obtained in the past. Getting just a recipe without ever having the item made doesn't count though. Ah. Got it. Send agents off to find recipes and parts for you to make awesome weapons and protective gear. Sounds good. I've got to start saving up so I can afford all that. Mm. Wait, fay who? Eggs. Where eggs? Oh, oh shit, I'm sorry. So busy with the equipment search, I forgot all about the shopping. Again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, imagine my son. It took some time to uh, make preparations for a more substantial equipment search. Ah. That's alright, take your time, Rich. I'll find something to do and come back later. Good luck with the prep. Alright then, come back later. Oh, that's pretty cool then. So much to this game, so I really like it. So many different little bits you can do. I wonder how far you and I are doing. I'll drop in soon, uh... Alright, we'll drop in later then. Oh. Oh, it's a little kid again. I want to find this card first. Ah, there it is. Kotomi Asakura, sci fi. Alright, matey. Lovely stuff. Ah, you're back, kiddo. I told you, staying or staying around here alone. Ah, oh, hello, sir. How about you drop the surfing, gang? Eh? What's got you hanging around here now? Oh, she gets me every time she looks down sad like that. Oh, come on now, speak up when somebody asks you a question. Oh, I'm looking at the blue chest little squirrel doll. Ah, that's the blue one you got your eyes on. Yeah, blue chestnut is super cute too. Uh, if you say so. so you got your heart set on that now. You got me one the other day, and I'm happy to have it. I'm not greedy. I don't have a daddy. My mummy's at work all the time, and she says there's no money for fruit. Frivolous. 
it was frivolous. Oh well. So I just wanted to come and look at it. Uh, well, you ought to head home soon. Don't want your mum worrying about you again. Do you? Oh no, I just want to have a look at it a little longer. Then I'll go home. Every second you stick around this part of town, you risk too much, kiddo. <sighs> the only way to keep her safe is to grab that blue screw when I get a chance. When you get a chance, you've got a chance. Right now, matey. Let's fucking do it. I haven't had that little girl standing around. Middle of a fucking bad town, all sad. Right, let's find that one. Is it on that one? Oh, no. Here we go. Just go for this one. I think that's one. Yeah. Let's do this. Here we go. Right. And having that little stand out there in the cold. No chance. Is that... That's not even the right bloody one, is it? Let's try again. Surely. Surely. Don't you dare slip out. That's not even a... It's not even a rock bloody one. I'm a smart one, I know. Bloody hell. <laughs> fucking tune in my head now, anyway. That's alright, let's just... Run bloody one, I know. Fucking hell. I saw blue, so I went for blue. Blue flashing lights. Where is it? It's too fucking bright, I can't fucking see. Oh, it's right at the back. Alright, I'll see it now. Alright. Oh, you wanker. <laughs> I can't even see the fucking thing, man. Oh, well. They ain't gonna get it. No chance. What are you kidding me? How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> oh my god, that was pure luck. Alright, alright. Come on then. It's gonna be impossible to get there. Too far. No. Oh, I don't know. No. I need to reset the thing because that's uh, that's going to be impossible to get there. Reset the prizes, Reg. Resets. Yes, I will say. Cheers, matey. Cool, fucking do that in Blackpool all the time. Cheers for waiting. That's all right, my mate. Thank you very much. Do me a favour there, brother. Yep. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. I need to think for the young ladies. You will be most happy. Oh, I fucking totally missed that one. Okay. Surely. Right above it. Uh, no! 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh, I didn't know I could move that. Oh, fuck you know. That's my idea a bit easier. Surely, that's right above it. Come on, don't black pool on me. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Try on the one on the right hand side. Oh my gosh. This one's a bit harder than the other one. Oh, it's not enough. Bollocks. If it was at the front, it'd be a lot easier. This is quite so. Uh... Oh. I must get it for the young lady. She does not want to be standing outside. Come on. It's right above it. Come on. Come on, you little ripper. Uh. Ah. Get in there. How about that one, top lad? Yes. Doesn't really matter about the last one. I nearly broke it a machine! Right. Uh, at least you got one for the, the little girl. Here you go, kiddo. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go, kid! Oh, Still staring at a chest little squirrel, but... Uh, oh, yeah. I am. I have one of those blue chest little squirrel dolls now, I'll have to give it to him. Yes, of course! Ah, oh, look, here's a blue chest little squirrel. Oh, wow, it's a blue chest little squirrel. Take care of him. Squirrels ain't my thing. Oh, look at that, man. I can't believe it. Everyone's going to be so jealous when I show them at school tomorrow. Oh, Just a light little yeah. thing. Yeah! But the kids always talk about how their daddies buy them dolls. And they show them so each other. I get left out whenever that happens. No, I'll have something to talk about. Aww, poor thing. <laughs> oh, I'm glad for you, scamp. But ain't your daddy. Uh, I wouldn't really know. Don't daddies buy things for kids? I suppose, depends. That's a dad's thing, yeah. I knew it. So if I did have a daddy, he'd be kind of like you, right? Uh. How'd you figure? Because you gave me two dolls. Uh, I did, but... See? And you look old enough to be a daddy. So you're just like a daddy to me. Oh, This is genuinely making me fucking, like, bubble up inside. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, how old does this kid think I am? <laughs> I wish you could be my real daddy, sir. Oh, fucking hell. She's breaking my heart, this is. Whoa, 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 you know that ain't gonna happen, right? Well, can I just call you daddy then? Oh, say what? Oh, uh, you don't want me to. Choice is a sir or daddy, then. Eh? Ain't too fun of either. But what's the right player here? Nah, just, just do it, man. I, I'm, I'm a sup for this kind of shit. Dad, just do it. <sighs> oh, okay. Really? Look how happy she is. Oh, daddy best thing. I'm getting some mixed feelings here, kiddo. You best get back to your mum. Okay. Bye, daddy. Oh, that's fucking broke my heart, that has. I ain't even beginning to joke, man. You take care on your way home. Look, look at his little smile on his face. He knows he's made her up. But... Bless that. Poor little thing. Fucking hell. Oops, sorry, Reg. Right, let's get home. Let's have a chill. I'll be up all night doing this shit. Oh, unless it's for the little one. I don't... That's, that's different. 
Flustered young woman. Hmm, what am I going to do? Ooh, what to do? Y you. Pimp daddy. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Uh. Um, well, the thing is... You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Uh, yes, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, um... Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I have a fiver to ask. C can you... Please be my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God, this game's getting a little bit weird, to be fair. Okay? Well, beginning to. So what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty please? <laughs> well, just like that. Your boyfriend. You mean, like... You want, me to, uh, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You'd be my one and only. B -b 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 boyfriend? Right, okay. Back it up a step or six. Heck, so this little lady here. Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be her, man. Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer, like, don't even think you, bunny little lady. Uh, I'll take that as a proposal or an interesting movie. Let's start as friends. I ain't gonna take the weird route. Let's say we start as friends, eh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable. Says your mind. <laughs> What? You can't just expect a man to jump straight to girlfriend step. That'd be more natural, you know? Oh, darn it. I've left out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Well, that's a big fucking bit you missed there, man. Excuse me. Pretend. Hi. Uh, yeah, you see, my father is just from back home. And he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. <laughs> this game. Uh, for several years now, he's been handing me to meet suitors. He's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and I told him, Who oh, do you have a boyfriend? Back off. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I uh, also told him my boyfriend's thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him. Kind of like a blade. The blade of a knife. Yeah, right. Why would you give him so many details? Why did you just scrub me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father. So I just kind of made it up as I went. And Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Alright, I'll get the picture now. I'll fit the bill. If you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your Dad. Wow, well, you catch up fast. That's pretty much it. If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage. And uh, with some strange man I don't even know. Wow. That's intense. Uh, please, nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Oh, God, all right. The girl's in a pickle, all right. Hey, you want to marry some guy that I don't even know? You know, they're spending the rest of the life with him. Well, I ain't going to get political. Fine, you paint yourself uh, into this corner. I'll feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Oh, my name is Coco. Please call me Coco Chan. And sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Gordo Majima. I see. Majima san, I will address you as Gordo Chan. Gordo Chan? We just met. It's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I think it's just pretend. I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. If you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going. Like, right now. Hmm? She just walks. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, I'm getting exhausted already. What's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. Go to the restaurant where we'll meet with my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner. I've got nothing to say to you, Dad Koto. Coco Chan. Make it so we make shake hands and then let me go, why don't ya? Bing bang boom. 
Oh no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of a man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. Uh, I just wanted to go home. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. But here we are, here we are. Strange game. Uplifting moments. Disco dancing. Karaoke. <laughs> now this. Oh, and also a girl that sells her underwear. Fucking weird. Uh, so good a chance. This is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend. Don't anger him. Uh-oh. -uh. Uh, you got him. Oh, I saw this about making him angry. You don't get pissed off easily. Oh, no, no. He's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. Seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. And he babies me more than he should. But underneath it all, he's as good as a father I could ask for. As I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his leg and be like, Forget this guy! I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problem, old. So, let's go with my boyfriend's backstory. Excuse me. I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favourite food is omelette rice I make. It's the omelette rice I make, okay? So, dentist, drives, movies, omelette. Dentist, drives, movies, omelette. Uh, what was all that mean? I have to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorised? Oh, God. Uh, dentist, drives, movies, omelette. Not exactly making this a walk in. We ain't making this a walk in a park. I'm supposed to remember all these details. Dentist, movies, drives, omelette. There you go, mate. Done. Ah, oh, fine. From the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going on drives and watching movies. You love the omelette rice I make. All right. Uh, right, six months. Dentist drives movie omelette six. Dentist drives movies omelette six. All right. Now uh, give it me best shot. Dentist drives movies omelette six. There he is, Dad over here. Uh, dentist drives movies omelette six. Got go his father. He looks like a Ute. So this is Coco Chan's dad. I like his space case of a doll, he seems pretty buttoned up. Goro Chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Coco's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing. Goro Manager. Goro Majima san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. Dentist <laughs> drives movies omelette six. Right. It's going to end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? Yeah, good point, Reg. First impression's key. What do I open with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Delighted to meet you, father. Uh, please make my miso soup every morning. Pleased to meet you. I'm Goro Majima. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima-kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Okoa san has stood by me at every turn. Wow, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So, me can't uh, even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Magic Bakun. That's right, Dad. Gotta chance not like those stereotypical men. Good, the first impression went well. Playing the respectful talk was a pretty slick move. Six, oh no, dentist, movies, driving, omelette, six months, right. Majima Kuhn, I must say I'm surprised, you really do exist. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back and emits a deadly aura, not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. <laughs> yeah, so I figured it was just another figment of your overactive imagination. So I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? 
Yeah. <laughs> well, they do seem to be on good terms. And the dad's a decent guy, too. <clears throat> Stern, but decent. Oh, yes, Magic McCoon. Coco, I may have mentioned it already. What line of work are you in again? Dentist. My job, huh? Oh, man. I think I've got to mention that in the backstory she gave me. Yeah, dentist. Manager camera. Oh, my yak is a. Oh, God, I want to pick it. Well, nah. Let's just. Let's just do it. I'm a dentist. Oh, yes, yes. That's right. I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. Oh, I'll get to hold that often, yeah. Oh, Dad. You've been so rude to my Guru-chan. Phew. I'm just glad I remembered what Guru-chan told me in that hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Madam McCoon. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoa? Oh, well, that's, uh... I didn't ask you, I asked Magimacoon. Oh, shit, she didn't even mention this. Movies, driving, I'm lit, six months. But, but, tell me, Magimacoon, how did you two get to know each other? What the? He's prying pretty deep, is he onto us? I'll explain how I supposedly met Coco Chan in a way that won't make him suspicious. Sat next to each other. Well, he says he's into movies. Coco Chan moves into a certain Movie. That's how we met. Because he likes movies. So that makes sense. That's a movie. Come to think of it, Coco did mention that you enjoy movies. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, Coco Chan just have to sit next to me. I think it was a real tearjerker. So I offered her my handkerchief and the rest is history. <laughs> what a gentleman. Yeah, that's how it went. Amazing, got a chance. I can't believe he came up with such a... I mean, remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. So romantic. Well, what a fortuitous meeting. Uh, I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any place she shouldn't be. Of course not. I got a chance. He's a proper and decent man. <coughs> there. I wove in Coco Chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Yeah. Magic McCoon, I'm going to put you put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? That? Why don't you put him on the spot like that? Oh, I'm sorry, Coco. I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever uh, manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. Oh dear. If there's a man who would love and treat you well, why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. instant. Dad, uh, that's why I need to ask, Magic McCoon. What about Kokoro do you find attractive? Omni, he's looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. Now, I don't like tricking him, but I told Coco Chan would go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. Circuit smacks great omelet work. Oh, see, this is where I could make a mistake. She's innocent child. Like, well, it's not that. Can't say that. She's so cute. Let's just stick with the info you was given. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelet rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. Imagine, McCoon, if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. Shit! If it's delicious omelette rice you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Shit, fucked it. Dad. Damn it, fucked it. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory. Backfired, shit! From my dad's point of view, he wants a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for a cooking ability. Uh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, Ronnie. Don't fall in. <laughs> oh dear. Wait a sec. With her powder in her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Damn, awkward. Magic Raccoon. Yes? I have no idea who you really are. But thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Holy shit! Hey? A lie? What lie? I've got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> oh, you can stop pretending, Reg. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Is it that obvious? If you knew from the start, Gave us away. I could tell just by my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father all these years for nothing. 
Why'd you go along with the dumb charade for so long? Mm. Like I was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? Well, yeah. I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for her. Well, you know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. Oh, Springer's final thought. I raised her alone, without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well. So no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. Good lad. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. Hard time for any parent, matey. Not that I know. But the truth is, there's another reason. I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah. Still had a good feeling to spend so much time lying to somebody and to someone who knew it from the start. Uh, I gotta tell ya, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco Chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see what she's up, uh, that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think, she won't, uh, mm -hmm. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you that she can manage her own affairs. But getting married. Mm. Here she is. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Uh, welcome back, Coco Chan. So, uh, listen, your dad actually knew. As you raccoon. Yes? Cocoa, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad? Uh -huh. I know, right? God of Chan's a super guy. So this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Of course. I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome. It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back then. Ah. Very nice, very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Goro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Goro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to give you this, thank you. i got five pieces of fluorite. Oh, okay. Crafting. Whatever the case, I think I'm free from Dad and me to meet his suitors. What a relief. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's right. I have to walk my dad to this hotel. Ah. Uh, yep. When you... Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Kakua, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, something wrong, Reg? Ajime Kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Uh, what's that, mate? Ajime Kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> uh, I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. <coughs> Excuse me, that's why. I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. <laughs> oh no. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what did you just say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust our future to you. It's a bit wide eyed at the nose. You just took a party prescription. Whoa, slow down, Reg. I'm having trouble believing me ears here. You could start just by pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. What the fuck? <laughs> that was random as fuck. Oh, dear. Right. That was rather, rather strange. <laughs> Oh dear, Dad got a little bit fucking fruity then, didn't he? Fuck you now. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> if you don't want her, I'll have you. <laughs> oh, what a special young man. What a special young man. Uh, I, Hanada. Right. Ta-da, you lovely luck. 